Right, Steve Bruce, sacked. He's gone. Ran yesterday, five o'clock, the club released a uh, statement saying that he'd gone. I don't think it was to the shock of too many people. Um, after Preston on Tuesday, which was such an awful game. The first half, we looked very decent, you know, scoring two goals, two and up at half time. You think, easy, we'll cruise to victory here. Nah, it doesn't work like that. After uh, Chester got sent off, which I don't think was a penalty and a red card, by the way, I don't know how we haven't rescinded that. That hasn't been rescinded. And once they scored that penalty and they had all the momentum, we literally just sat back. We invited the pressure. They had the whole of the ball second half. And they made it 3-2. We got lucky with the 3-3. The um, Balassi scoring a dodgy goal uh, in the 91st minute. And then <laughs> the penalty. Whelan. Why is Whelan taking a penalty? The Gizu scored one goal in seven years. And yeah, he missed it. Awful penalty. Um, yeah, and it ended 3-3, which was an awful result after being 2-0 up at half-time against bottom of the league with the worst defensive record. When you can't put that team away, Preston North End, when you can't beat them, you know your time's gone and Bruce got sacked for it. Before I uh, slam him, I just want to thank him because what, we, what he did last season, it was great. Obviously, he was just 90 minutes away from doing what everybody wanted him to do. And fair play to him, there was a lot of runs last season where we did so well. Um, at the start of the year, we won seven in a row. Um, that Sheffield United game stands out. It was just such a scrappy game and that bit of quality. So fair play, he's, he's done a lot of things. The Blues game as well at home last season when he was going through a really hard time and he put in such a shift. What a class game that was. But I just think this season, no progress had been made. Like, with the squad we've got, we should not be outside the playoffs. Um, you look at the likes of Balassi, £30 million player. Abraham scored 28 goals or something like a couple of seasons ago. Codger, all these players... We shouldn't be where we are, and I think we we have ultimately we haven't won enough games. We've won three this season. We've won one since the 11th of August, and that was against Rotherham. So it just wasn't good enough. We weren't getting the results, and Steve Bruce and his backroom staff they've paid the price for it. I just think this season he didn't ever look like he had a plan. We never ever looked organised, and for someone who played centre back for Manchester United. The defence this season was so bad. He let Tommy Elphick go. I don't know whether that was a financial decision or whatever, but that's just an awful decision. We've seen James Chester get a red card now, and who knows what we're going to play as a back four on Saturday against Millwall. It's going to be probably four right backs across the back because that's what he did on Saturday. But Kevin McDonald stepping in. Uh, he's the under-23 coach, I believe. So hopefully he can just get some sort of result on Saturday. I have no idea what to expect on Saturday. But hopefully during the international break, we can get someone in. They can implement their ideas. And with the players we've got, hopefully we can go again, get some momentum and hopefully get into the top two. And if not, playoffs it is. In terms of replacements, the obvious one is Dean Smith. But we can't just go up to Brentford and say, can we have your manager, please? Yes, he's a Villa fan. But... <laughs> It's a difficult one. Obviously, they'd have to pay compensation for him. But if he is a Villa fan and this is your one opportunity to become Villa manager, you'd think if he was a Villa fan, he'd want to come. But what he's doing at Brentford, they're in the playoff mix at the moment, I believe. They're doing so well. The project they've got going on there, I don't think... It'll be hard for him to leave. So it, it is a difficult one. Obviously, you've got the likes of <laughs> Sam Allardyce... Mick McCarthy, Alan Pardew, these dinosaur managers. I think we've been down that route with Steve Bruce. I think it's time for a change, whether that be with a, a foreign manager or a younger manager, I'm not too sure. But there have been, been talk about uh, the Shakhtar the next manager. I've forgotten his name. I think it begins with an F, but I think he's a George Mendes client. So we've been. I don't think we've been down the foreign route. Obviously, you could say Di Matteo, Remy Gard, people like that. But an unknown manager coming in, a fast attacking style of play could work well with us, obviously with the players we've got. It's, it, it is really important we get this decision right because this season could be the last one we have a real good chance of actually getting promoted because you look at all the lone players we've got, Balassi will go back to Everton at the end of the season, Abraham will go back, Chester will go, Grealish will go if we do not get promoted and the financial state of this club if we do not get promoted will be awful. So this, this season really is the one. So the decision the owners make is so, so important. And I don't know who I want in. Obviously, there's been talk about Thierry Henry. There's a lot of names out there, but we just have to wait and see. Hopefully, they take their time and make the correct decision. 
I'm not too sure. Hopefully we'll have a manager for Swansea at home on the 20th. Leave your thoughts in the comments on the brief sacking. I'll be interested to see what you guys have to say. Leave your thoughts on who you want to come in. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed. Obviously comment your thoughts in the comment section below. Share the video. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Me, Owen and Jamie will be at Millwall on Saturday. So look out for the video on that one. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. Up the villa.